Do you ever need to measure a distance, an angle between different faces, but understand the X, Y, Z? Let's talk about how to do that in Fusion right now. So in Fusion, there is the measure tool, but I want to show you the quick measure, as I call it. All you have to do is select two entities. So if you hold shift or command or control, if you select those two entities down below, you'll see kind of a logical measurement. You'll get 55 millimeters. That's the distance. If I select this top edge, it's gonna show me 55 millimeters for that top edge. If I were to select these two faces, then I can get a measurement between them, 90 degrees. Next, to find the measure tool, go up and find inspect. You can click on it right here. You can do the pull down and do I for measure. It'll wake up and so you have this tool and dialogue over on the right. If I start selecting and I select these two faces, immediately it gives me a 90 degree angle. It also shows me the area of these two faces. So if I select just this face, it's going to give me the area of that face and of the loop length of those edges. One really cool thing that I always forget about is you can click on that value and now open up any other application and paste and there's that value for you. All you have to do is click and it's ready copied into your clipboard. It's important to note that it matters what you select. So when I have two points in space or two corners, it's going to give me the distance between them, but it's also going to allow us to show the X, Y, Z. So if I do the coordinate system here, it'll give me some options on how this is displayed. And this is very helpful to see that travel in the X and Y. You can toggle that to see it vary across the model. Let's do two very different points. So in space, these corner to corner, I'll hit measure between those and it's got that selection, there's the distance. And again, this is where that X, Y, Z can be especially helpful and to solve it in different ways to give you those different solutions. With this cylinder, if I were to inspect it, I'm expecting that when I select this face, I'm gonna get the diameter because this is a round face. It's also gonna give me the radius and the area. Now, if I were to inspect and measure this interior face and this face, they're not parallel. So I'm kind of expecting the angle, and there's that angle between the two faces. Now, what about when you've modeled this up in a particular set of units? When I choose to inspect and choose this edge, by default, it's giving me in 55 millimeters. I can come up and I can select a secondary unit. I could see it in inches also. So here are the values in both inches and millimeters, but if I also want to see the precision change, I can do that and set it to only show me the whole number. I can clear the selections with this arrow and now we can select something else. I'll select this face and this opposing face. I get that distance value in both millimeter and in inches. When I wanna measure between holes, I can select the outer arc to the outer arc. It's going to give me the distance from that outer arc's tangency to the other value. Instead, if I were to select the center point, it's going to give me that distance in between them. And of course, we can do the X, Y, Z to show the, the X and Y travel. Hey, so that's the measure tool. I use this one all the time. Open it up, play with it, practice with it this today. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow.